funny. And it's everybody's favorite day of the week. The day of the week when we ask ourselves, does this thing really work? And today we are testing out a crazy hair curling, crimping, zigzag, what do you call this? Device that so many of you guys have shared with me over the past couple of weeks on my Facebook page. This is from Glam Palm. Have you ever heard of them before? I have snot. So they came out with this thing called the zigzag. I already actually took it out of the box so I could get it cranked up. And this is what the curling iron looks like. I feel it radiating heat already. Basically, this is supposed to be a fresh take on the crimped hair look, they say of the 90s, but truthfully, crimped hair was really trendy in the 80s, so I don't know what decade they were living in. I'm gonna start off by saying this thing is not cheap. I bought it like about two weeks ago, and it was $220. For that amount of money, you only get this thing and a little sort of velvety feeling trapper keeper to put it in. I was honestly very shocked that they did not give a heat protectant glove because truthfully, this looks like something I would burn the holy dickens out of myself with. This end, okay. Oh! No, lies. Okay, this rubberized end is supposed to be like heat resistant so you can hold on to that. Don't touch that. Okay, I feel my fingers burning already. I have freshly washed hair and I was kind of torn over whether I should straighten it first and then use this device because I used to crimp my hair a ton. Do you guys remember like back in the day when I did that sort of thing? And sometimes I would straighten my hair first. I don't know, uh, freshly washed hair. And you guys can see I have sort of a wavy texture just on the top layers of my hair. What's up with that? They keep mentioning on the website that this is a flexible hair tool. Like this is not flexible right? I'm, I'm bending it and burning myself. Uh, no flexing is happening. Two heat settings. There's a low at 350 degrees Fahrenheit and a high at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Automatically shuts off after 30 minutes. Select a strand of hair no more than one inch wide. Is this an inch wide? I don't know. Do I need to bust out a ruler? Are people going to tell me I did it wrong? I, I'm only joking. I'm just, I'm just getting sassy, okay? Can I be sassy? Can I still be sassy here on YouTube? Is that allowed? Am I doing it right? Oh, I'm gonna burn myself. I am gonna burn myself, no doubt about it. Okay, I'm trying to see here. That, that looks about right, right? That looks kind of like the diagram. I'm trying to hold on to it. I don't know how long to, oh, it's hard to get the little, tail in there. Maybe my hair is too clean for this. That's a phrase you've never heard me utter before on this YouTube channel. That's probably long enough. I'm maybe frying my hair right now. I don't know. Oh, I'm stuck. Oh, not good. Okay. Okay. Oh, there we go. Twisting and twisting the night away. Oh, wow. It looks like I just shut my hair in a car door repeatedly. That's a very interesting style. I particularly love this bottom end, which just looks like I, uh, you know, smashed my hair in some weird way. Smash or pass? How about those videos that are like all over YouTube now? It's like I went to sleep one day and YouTube was normal. And then I woke up the next day and I, I don't know where I am anymore. We're gonna twist my hair again. We're gonna twist it in the ribbon candy. And we're gonna love it when it's done. It's gonna be so beautiful. It's like the surface of the sun, hot. Very interesting. Very interesting. Um, what accent was that? I don't know. Look at that. Look at that. That one almost has like a little bit of a curl. Also, I feel like I should change shirts. Where is my mind? I have black hair, black shirt on. I'm gonna finish the bottom section of my hair and then I'll check back in with you guys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a little bit. I changed my dress. And I turned off half my lights because honestly, these big lights here are like so blinding. It's like I feel like I can hear the sound of me retinas sizzling. Here is half of the bottom layer of my hair. Um, crimped, I guess, zigzagged, let's call it that. 
but look at how wild it is. Like, look at how many inches shorter it makes my hair look. Fascinating. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side, you know, the rest of my hair, and then we'll come back with all the lights and we'll see how it looks. We'll see, would you, would you smash or pass? final verdict and it took roughly an hour to do my entire head of hair I've got a lot of hair so usually things like this do take a lot of time and devotion I will say I feel like it is faster than a traditional crimping iron usually if I crimp my whole head of hair that takes about an hour and 30 minutes so it does shave off a little bit of time. And during the hour that it took for me to do this, I was thinking like, what does this remind me of? And now I remember. Did you guys ever see that super weird runway trend? Was this a trend? Where they were gluing insect legs as fake eyelashes on the model's eyeballs. It's kind of all like just sticking out in weird ways. I like it more than I thought that I would. I definitely would not wear it just like this, like down like this, but I definitely feel like this would be very cute in a ponytail or a half up, half down do. The only complaint that I have about this device, there's a lot of spinning involved in it. Like, you know, you wrap your hair and then you really have to, oh my gosh, I have to just unplug it. This is what happens to the cord. There's a lot of twisting and a lot of spinning you know you're wrapping your hair around it but then it's really best if you untwist it when you do that the cord gets super duper tangled I don't know if you guys could tell from the little segments that I was filming but I kept getting like closer and closer and closer to the wall because of all the twisting the cord kept getting shorter and shorter it's definitely a very out there style I don't know just smash or pass you guys know that I do have like a more out there funky kind of style. So I can see myself actually using this thing. I hope you guys enjoyed today's does this thing really work? Don't forget, leave me comments and suggestions down below of what other devices you would like for me to test out here on my channel. Thank you guys so, so much for being here today and for watching. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit that button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. Also, if you want, you can find me on Facebook, facebook.com slash girl, or you can follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Instagram at Graveyard Girl, same way it's spelled here. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye.